Now you're going to create this bearing housing using the skills you've learned so far and you'll get an introduction to the whole wizard. Start by creating a part file and then create this sketch on the top plane. The rectangle is a center point rectangle and both the rectangle and the circle are coincident with the origin of the sketch. Also notice that the sketch is fully defined. Once you've drawn the sketch, exit it and then open the extrude command. Select just the rectangle and then set the length of the extrusion to half an inch. Once you've created the extrusion, unhide the sketch. Click the extrude command and then click the circle to select the sketch. Set the length of the extrusion to 3 inches and then apply the operation. Once you've done that, hide the sketch. Now we're going to use the whole wizard to create the counterbore hole in the center of the part. If you recall in one of the lessons on the shell command, we selected the top of the bottle before we open the shell command. When you use the whole wizard, the command will perform differently if you do this. I'll explain why this is the case later in the course. Go ahead and open the whole wizard. With these options, you can create counter bore, counter sink, drilled, drilled and tapped, and drilled and tapped pipe threads. These options are designed to fit bolts and screws. This option allows you to create custom holes that don't necessarily fit a bolt or a screw. And the last three options create different types of slots. Select the custom option and then set the type to counter board and drilled. If you scroll down you can see a drawing that describes the parameters of the hole. The diameter is the drilled through hole. Double click the cell to set this parameter to 1 and 3 quarter inches. The next parameter is the depth of the hole, but since we're going to create a through hole, there's no need to enter a value. Set the counter bore diameter to 3 inches and the depth of the counter bore to 3 quarters of an inch. Scroll to the bottom and then select the through all in condition. Now that we've defined the parameters for the hole, we need to specify its location. Click the positions tab, click 3D sketch, and then place your pointer over the circle on the end of the second extrusion. When the center of the circle appears, click it to place the start point of the hole. You can add other start points to the part, but there's no need to do this at this time. Type the enter key to apply the hole. Now that we've created the counter bore hole, we're going to create counter sink holes for quarter 20 flathead screws. We'll create a sketch that controls the location of the holes and then we'll add the holes. Create a sketch on the top of the rectangular feature. Now click the offset command and then select the top surface. This automatically selects the rectangular border of the feature. Now set the offset to half an inch and then reverse the direction of the offset. Type the inner key to apply the operation. Now exit the sketch and then open the whole wizard. The type of hole is countersink We're going to use the ANSI standard and the units are inches, but you can select from a large list of standards. We're also going to create holes for a flathead screw with an 82 degree head. The size is a quarter inch. 
and for now we're going to use the normal fit. We'll revisit this option in just a minute. We're also going to set the end condition to through all. Once you've applied these settings, click the Positions tab and then click 3D Sketch. Select the nodes on the corners of the sketch. And then type the Enter key to apply the holes. Now that we've added the holes, hide the sketch. Let's look at the size of the holes. Rotate the view to the other side of the part. Zoom into one of the holes. And then open the measure command. Now click the circle on the end of one of the holes. The diameter of the circle is 266 thousandths of an inch, which is a free fit for a quarter inch screw. Type the escape key. And then edit the holes. Now change the fit to the close fit. And then type the inner key to apply your changes. Open the measure command. And then measure the hole. A 257 thousandths of an inch hole is considered to be a close fit. So a close fit is a close fit for a quarter inch screw. The normal fit is a free fit, and let's look at the loose fit. Two hundred eighty-one thousandths of an inch is a very loose fit for a quarter inch screw. It's nice to know that SOLIDWORKS can apply different fits for holes. But I also recommend that you check the size to confirm that it's the fit you want. Ultimately, you're in charge of the parts you draw and design. So whenever SOLIDWORKS automatically applies a size parameter like this, it's always good practice to measure the feature to confirm that it's the size you want. Set the fit back to normal. and then save the file under the name Bearing Housing.